Hi everyone, this is Tally Pierre. I'm with Living in Maple Valley, and I have with me today Rick Holm. Rick is the owner of Home Construction, Home Residential, and his business restores, repairs, and remodels homes. So, Rick, thank you so much for joining me thank today. You. You're welcome. Thanks for getting in contact with me. Yeah, absolutely. Rick does wonderful work, uh, I know, because he's done my house, and he's done this beautiful bathroom that we're standing in right now. So, Rick, tell us, um, what kind of projects did your company do? Well, uh, you know, we mainly do bathrooms and kitchens. Uh, we also do some outdoor living areas and all kinds of other miscellaneous things, all residential type stuff. But recently, we've actually got more concentrated on bathrooms and kitchens. So, last year we did 17 bathrooms, just bathrooms, so we yeah, have quite a few of those. Yeah, oh, that's what people yeah, want. People that's right. want new bathrooms and new kitchens, yeah. so that, that yeah. makes sense. We do some exceptional tile work. Um, you know, we do our own, most of our own internal work and that kind of thing. But tiling is the main key in bathrooms, as you well know, yeah. on your backsplash, yeah. whatever <laughs> it is, people are looking perfection for, for perfection when they come to do tile work. And so we have some, you know, very, very good tile work. And that's what our customers really really Yeah, want. absolutely. It, it is great. Yeah. So what made you start, decide to start your own business? Well, um, okay. <clears throat> So being a farm boy from the Midwest, I've always, uh, I mean, that's, my father was an entrepreneur, my grandfather, my great grandfather. So that was in my blood. And um, so I've actually, I started building things when I was just, you know, probably six or seven or eight or nine. And so I've always loved that. This is my second career. And home residential um, has been uh, doing uh, residential remodeling, et cetera, for about 15 years. So. Um, I, I've always been my own boss. That's so, nice. uh, And I'll tell you how many years, just a lot of years. <laughs> okay, right? fair enough. And so I, I just, I love doing that. And, uh, you know, um, so it's always worked out really well for me. Perfect. Yeah. And what do you think the greatest challenge is in this business? Well, <clears throat> I think um, currently it's, uh, you know, the, um, it's trying to get people to uh, other subcontractors, availability. Mm -hmm. Everybody is very busy, which is an unusual thing. Mm -hmm. Your you know, remodeling and construction industry is cyclical. We've been on a roll, yeah. you know, for a long time now, and so that's that's great. But it's also very difficult to, to try to find subcontractors to come in uh, and keep keep projects moving forward on a timely basis. So, for instance, I mean, there's just all kinds of them. <laughs> I won't name anybody, you know, because. They might be watching. <laughs> so anyway, that's the tough part. And uh, you know, we we've, we we kind of have a stable workforce, so we're not looking for people on an ongoing basis. But that is a, almost an impossible task to find people that are good, that are available, right. you know, to actually to work. So we work. Uh, it's it's almost a family business. I work with my stepsons, and um, you know, so we have a very stable and experienced workforce. But. If I had to look for employees on an ongoing basis, right. it would be a challenge. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. So what, is there one project that you especially have really enjoyed or um, kind of an odd project or story that you've had, you've worked on? We work mainly in Maple Valley, yep. Kent and Auburn. Um, and so we, I would love to do um, restoration work, mm -hmm. you know, on older homes. Right. You know, but we don't have them. <laughs> So I'm, I'm ask, answering your question by saying the things that we don't do. Yeah. You know, but um, you know, it, it's what what I love best is the design is um, is putting together, um, talking to customers, finding out, for instance, exactly how it is that they actually use their kitchen, uh, what they're looking for, and things like that, and then designing um, color selection, materials, and actually do interior design work. Um, you know, so I combine that and we actually do literally all of our own works. We try to get projects done very quickly and always aware of what our customers are looking for. So, other than things, the unusual things, it's probably when we find dry rot or things like that that haven't been attended to for years mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And, you know, dealing with that kind of infestations, you know, right. where people, we find houses that are look greatly decayed. Not fun, I'm just saying. Yeah, they're unique. It's all part of the work. Yeah, unique. yeah. So. And so Rick, I know you've been in Maple Valley for a long yeah. time and that you're very involved in the community. What, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your community work? Well, um, gosh, I mean, that's a kind of, a, kind of have a long history. 
I mean, probably um, in in the Maple Valley, Maple Valley area. You know, I've been a Rotarian all told for about 25 years, mm -hmm. and in Maple Valley for around 20 years. And uh, Maple Valley Rotary, of course, civic organization. You know, we dedicate time and resources to help out um, the schools locally, internationally, or so forth. We're so so many projects that it's really kind of hard to like, pinpoint which ones they are because they go on year after year, and uh, it's very rewarding to to work with um, you know with other people in the community that are in need. And things like that, and of course, it's a great way to actually meet other people right. as well that are other business leaders. Right. So. Rick's very humble about his work with the Rotary Club. Yeah. He uh, he works yeah. tirelessly. <laughs> he does a lot. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for being with me today. I All appreciate right. it, and having our uh, audience yeah. learn more about your business. Right. Oh, right. and can you tell them what the best way to reach you is? Well, um, you know, I uh, my my lovely. Um, uh, daughter-in-law is actually working on revving our, our website as we stand here and so you can uh, you can find me on Facebook and um, you know you can just google um, home residential okay. kind of stuff wherever it is and you know I, I'll get back to you as soon as I can Perfect. so I appreciate uh, appreciate all referrals and I love Maple Valley very good. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rick. You're welcome. So again, this is Tally Pierre. I'm the sponsor of the local Maple Valley uh, site for Park Bench and also General Scott Real Estate Broker. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.